I can't see a thing. Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to the channel, where today's video is all about how to repaint your MG Midget steel wheels. Now I must stress before we start that this is a very, very cost-effective way of refurbing your wheels. What this means is I'm going to upset Dive. You remember Dive? Let's take a look at Dive. Morning, Dive. He wanted me to take the tires off, send the rims to get shot blasted so they were completely free of any material, and then prime and respray myself. But that was too much money. I swear he's shaking his head at me right now. So I'm going to be doing the whole process from start to finish. It'll be cheaper and hopefully I'll learn some skills. Are you ready? Then let's dance. It just wouldn't be the same without the squeaks, would it? Quick look at the tools I'm gonna to be using for this job. Uh, to prep the wheel, I've got some sandpaper down there. I've got uh, a cordless drill with some random wire brushes that I can put in. I've got some uh, these flappy sand disc things that I'm going to use with my Dremel to get into the tighter spaces. Once that's done, I'll be cleaning the whole wheel up with some alcohol and some blue roll that's just tucked out of shot. And then for the actual painting, I'm going to mask the tire off with these cards. I saw a trick where you can put it in around the bead of the wheel. And then you need a good old etch primer for painting onto metal. John Egan told me about this brand, so I'm using them. And I'm from the same brand. You pull. Time to crack on. So now the wheels are off and I've labeled them in a few places so I know this is the front right when I'm sat in the driver's seat so I know which wheel goes with which hub. Next step is to try and find a way of gently removing these stainless steel or chromed vanity rings. Just a press fit, I think. There we go. Whee. Now that the wheels are off the car, we've got to give them a good scrub-a-dub-dub. So I've got some hot soapy water that I'm using just with some Auto Gloom shampoo. I've got some things to scrub it with manually. And I've got this pressure washer to take off the rest of that hard dirt. What you also need is a toddler to help with those harder tasks. Ready? <laughs> Cheese! Come on in, right. All the way around the rim. Okay, the wheels have been washed, they're now dry. It's now time to take the paint and all the rust off and prep the wheels ready for priming. Got a Dremel with sanding discs and a drill with a wire brush. I can't see a thing. PPE, you need it. Lots of metal and bits flying everywhere. You don't want that. This, no good. Dremel, not good either. So, the wisest person in our family, the wife, suggested this. Paint stripper, exhibit A. I left one coat on and it's already started to chew through it. So the plan is do the both whole rims. You can see what I've tried to do with the Dremel, which got some of the distance. But I'm gonna coat both rims now with a thick coat of this. Does that look pretty liberal to you? Mm -hmm. So as you can see the paint strip has been on for three hours now and the paint has started to really come off, it started to ripple and warp. So what I'm going to do is use a pressure washer to take off all of that nasty stuff. So pressure washing a lot of the stuff has come off, but as you can see, 
there's still bits here that are gonna need, this is all need, need to be just smoothened off now. So now that that's all that muck is off, it's time to just see if I can brighten this steel back to bare metal. Hopefully the whole wheel's gonna look like that. I gotta tell you, I'm feeling pretty happy about this. I'm gonna do a finessing round and I'm gonna jet wash out all of this dust that's in this crevice and then really dry it so it doesn't rust. But this is feeling so smooth, I can't wait to prime it and it will look gorgeous ready for painting. Welcome back to day two of doing the wheels. Now I'm going to be using some of this rubbing alcohol and so I'm gonna give these a big clean, uh, make sure there's literally no debris left on them before then going for gold with some primer. I have cut, cut off a tip of one of these gloves and slotted it over the valve with a bit of tape around it to make it a bit more snug so there's no flaring either side and I can get paint pretty much all the way around. But yeah, there'll be a chrome ring that goes all the way around this bit and onto there. So the main bit that's gonna be seen is this inner circle. Now that the rims have been cleaned and rubbed with the 99% isopropyl polypropylpropyl alcohol, <whistles> it's time to prepare the rims themselves for being sprayed with primer. We're gonna use these index cards to fan around the bead of the rim. So we're just gonna start fanning them. The important thing is we don't want to see any tyre, so I'm trying to get as much overlap between these cards as possible. And this is what it looks like. There's a bit of a breeze, so I'm going to wait for that to die down. Basically, we fanned round so the only the rim is exposed, and I've also gone round just gently with a rag to cover the bulk of the tyres in case there's a little bit of overspray. But we're now ready to paint these, just need to prep the paint. Little trick I learned is to put the paint in some warm water from the tap because it's a little bit chillier today. So I've just left it warming in this Pyrex jug just to help get the can up to temperature a little bit. Not boiled, just lightly warmed. Shake for two minutes. <coughs> Timer. That was only 15 seconds. I'm exhausted because shaking that was hard work and I'm unfit. So I'm just starting from away. I'm just gonna come round, do the reverse. The idea with this is not to rush. I'm gonna do two more coats of primer and then go on for the gloss. So I'll retune with you when I've done the third coat of primer. Well, the third and final coat of primer has gone on and I don't know if you can see, but they are looking absolutely brilliant. Basically left to right strokes, even, nice and slowly taken. They are looking fantastic. They really are very, very happy with these. So now it's time, as we know, to get the gloss on. This time I'm using Upol Gloss Black. Again, shouldn't take too long to dry between coats. Same approach as before. But left to right swinging motion. I'm just gonna come round this side, do the same. There we go. Okay, coat number two.
Okay, three layers of primer, three layers of gloss. Do you want to see the results? Take a look. Ooh, not too shabby. Shiny black, ready to go on the car. So, wheels just offered up to the hub. I've got some my stainless nuts to go back on. I've just checked this bad boy uh, to double check the uh, correct torque setting on page 23, which says 44 to 46 foot pounds of torque. So I've cross referenced this, that works out as 60 Newton meters. And obviously, the paint on these is going to eventually wear, which means although they'll be tight now, there's a chance that it will rub um, the paint off. And uh, that means then the wheel might work loose. So I'm just going to have to periodically check these. So they're done up tightly, but not fully tightly. I just wanted to make sure that the rims were flush against the hub before the weight of the car was on it. Basically, that's exactly what I was looking effect-wise. A little bit glossy, stainless rim, entire black surround. Perfect. I gotta tell you, I'm really happy. Budget job, bit of elbow grease, but they look fantastic. I've got the rears to do now, but family reasons, I won't be able to do those straight away. So I just thought I'd get these done, show them to you, uh, and see if you wanted to go yourselves. It can be done. And uh, I know Dave would have done it maybe slightly more thoroughly. Anyway, for a cheap refurb job with a bit of effort, I couldn't be happier. It's, I mean, they look good, don't they? Anyway, if you like this content and you want to follow more of Margot and I on our adventures, then hit the subscribe button. It's been a long week. I'll tell you another time. Uh, but anyway, until the next one, I hope you keep well, I love you lots, take care for now. Bye! Voice is going!